nada The satellite is floating free, but the Eureka spacecraft is in the wrong place. 87 degrees sunny at CBS FM. I'm Tony Warren. The $213 million satellite is free of the shuttle Atlantis. After five hours after its release, the satellite's onboard thrusters were fired to raise it toward its working orbit more than 300 miles above the Earth. But the maneuver was aborted after a few minutes when ground controllers noticed the spacecraft was turning in the wrong direction. Flight director Phil Engeloff says the sudden loss of equilibrium doesn't mean the satellite is lost. And more music coming up on this party song's weekend with Dan Ingram. But first, you, didn't do you know read all someone with a drug or alcohol problem? Yeah. Well, the Wayne Counseling Center has a confidential oh. helpline just for Dan Ingram, staffed by professionals yeah. who can provide information and referrals. Mm. Call 1-800-CBS-FM-101.1. You left out the part CB about the U.S. men's canoe kayak team. I mean, the kayak team is my thing. I'm a well, kayak man. Well, I have to say, CBS-FM with Dan Ingram in mind. With your and mine. you. I certainly hope Weekend so. 101 weather this afternoon. Mostly sunny, pleasant, a high in the mid-80s. Partly cloudy tonight, warm, a low in the upper 60s. And for tomorrow, partly cloudy. Afternoon showers are possible with a high in the low 80s. You left out that the U.S. men's fours without Coxwain finished second for a silver medal. But right now, it's 87 degrees in New York. And I'm like Tony Warren, CBS FM. Dan Ingram. You're listening to The Party Songs Weekend. 101. 101. CBS FM. Good luck in your career, whatever it may bring to you. It's been nice knowing you, Tony. Uh, how you doing, Kimo Sabe? Yeah, Elton John on CBS FM, Party Songs Weekend. I'm Dan Ingram, proud to be with you. Let's do it to it. I remember when rock was young. Love it. Yeah, that's great. That's Elton John right here on CBS FM with Crocodile Rock. That's where Barney Rubble worships. We know that, of course. Ah, uh, back to 1959. That was 33 years ago. <laughs> you were one, huh? Sure you were. Right. Dion and the Belmonts on CBS FM 101.1. Each time we have a quarrel. Dion, the Belmonts on CBS FM 101.1. Don't forget, weekends are special on CBS FM. Join Bobby J. You ready? Tonight, 5 o'clock, going to have a countdown to the top 20 songs of August 2, 1960. That's like, uh, let's see, this is 1990. It's 32 years ago. How about that? Only on CBS FM 101.1, New York's oldie station. Right. So another example of how American Airlines is bringing value back to air travel. Joyce Brothers, of course. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, it's the greatest. It's the latest. Mashed potato time comes right before pie time in a food fight. Right. D.D. Sharp on CBS FM 101.1. Oh, you got the best music on the best station. CBS FM 101.1. The number one oldest station in the entire American thing. You got it, baby. Yes. Ah, it's hard to say I'm sorry. Which sounds like the only way to make up. Chicago. Everybody needs a little time away. On CBS FM 101.1. Oh, yeah. I, I got to tell you, the uh, honor group that they are big guys. You're a big guy? I hate you. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't mean that. Uh, you're like what? 11? Oh, no. Uh, six foot... Four. Okay, I'm six two. But if you're if you're a big guy, I mean, if people are saying, "Hey, big guy, you're in the honor group of the day." Dan Ingram. Yeah. One, 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 one,
It's going to be sunny and pleasant today. A weekend in New York and the sun is shining. What happened? What went wrong? Anyway, enjoy it. Mid-80s, partly cloudy, warm. Temperatures in the upper 60s tonight. Partly cloudy tomorrow. Afternoon showers possible. High in the low 80s. Cloudy showers, thunder showers on Tuesday. Uh, what can I tell you? 82 degrees at CBS FM 101.1. Yeah, purr. This is especially for the Narcissists Association Banquet. The NAB right here on CBS FM 101.1. Right, that's my special angel, which is the answer to <laughs> what do you want tonight, Senator? Of course, I understand. My special. Ooh. I hear a symphony. It's because I've got my ear blown. <laughs> my earphones are plugged into the wrong jack. Giving me a true love. CBS FM. And every day I thank you, love. Romeo and Juliet, which figures they get the same caterers as we do, right here on CBS FM 101.1. Oh, yes, our word for the day is ex cathedra. Ex cathedra is a uh, papal annulment, isn't it? Yeah, something like that. No, no, ex cathedra is what they call that tube after they use it, of course. <laughs> This is really a big deal. A glittering new superstore and the hottest show in the Gallerina, Gallerina, the Gallerina at Crystal Run. I got to learn how to read. Well, you know, I mean what I say. This place is just fantastic. It's in Middletown, New York. It's where you're going to find more than 7,000 items that define state of the art in home electronics. They got computers and they got cameras. It's where you can choose a car stereo or, or you want a cellular phone. You want to have it meticulously installed? Oh, my goodness. Right? Don't miss the grand opening of Nobody Beats the Wiz Thursday, August 6th. Where? In the Galleria at Crystal Run in Middletown. Go on in. You're going to have it. Tell them Ingram sent you. It won't mean a darn thing, but just, you know, go on in and say, hey, you know, like, and then you'll look around and say, my Lord, this thing is wonderful. This is the weekend. Party songs weekend. Your chance to win tickets to the Royal New York Doo-Wop Show happening August 22th at Waterloo Village in New Jersey. Plus, a grand prize winner is going to be chauffeur in the CBS FM Rock and Roll Red 57 Chevy Limo. And this, you'll, you'll know the Bruce Morrow Memorial staying on the back seat right there. <laughs> and you can win front row seats, too. How about that? E, e, e. That's Bruce. we got to teach Bruce a new letter. All he knows is E. E, E, E. You make me feel brand new on CBS FM. Phyllis Diller to her team of surgeons. My love. Yeah, last dance. That's the Cobbler Cotillion right here on CBS. Oh, that's terrible, Dan. <laughs> I should get out of the business, but I'm greedy. Uh, it's eight minutes in front of one o'clock. CBS FM 101.1. He was considered one of the greatest top 40 disc jockeys of all time. I'm Dan Ingram, proud to be with you. Dan Ingram began his radio career at small stations in New York and Connecticut before moving to jobs in Dallas and St. Louis. In 1961, he returned to broadcasting in New York on 77 WABC AM, where he quickly became one of the voices of the coveted afternoon drive time, keeping so many of us company on our ride home. He later joined WCBS FM, where he worked until his retirement in 2003. Called by the National Radio Hall of Fame, a radio pioneer, Dan Ingram worked for five decades in broadcasting and was best known for his quick wit and fast pace. His former boss credited Ingram's ability to talk up a song so listeners didn't tune out. Yeah, last dance. That's the Cobbler Cotillion right here on CBS. Oh, that's terrible, Dan. Ingram was born on September 7th, 1934 in Oceanside, New York. He studied broadcasting at Hofstra University. Over the years, he established himself as a leading rock radio personality in North America. No small feat at a time when radio was the biggest medium and competition on the airwaves was fierce. <laughs> Tyler, CBS 2 News. As some people call Ingram the thinking man's DJ because of his signature wit and wordplay, and is said to have inspired many a career in radio. It brings back good memories. Yeah, it does. Some of the first people heard on the radio. I back really in the admire, day. yeah, I really admire people that can be on the radio like that because it's not as easy as it looks. No, it's hard. But he's one of those people who was a constant in our lives. Yeah. Like the throughout. The voice, right? Yeah. Right? End of an era right there. Yeah. We'll never.